Hello and welcome to the first edition of Dragon Spotlight. I'm video coordinator for Athletic Jeff McDevitt. I'm here with Megan Creighton, senior point guard for the women's basketball team. On this show, what we're going to do is sort of spotlight a women's basketball player um, and what they do off the court. Uh, and Megan is one of the most involved players off the court, winning the 2016 Dean Ellers Award from the CAA for her off-court service. What we're going to talk about today specifically is your charity endeavor that you're going to have going on this year. Uh, can you just go right in and tell us a little about that? Yeah, so um, it's called Assisting Others, and what it does is the two nonprofits like closest to my heart, um, Evan Fest and Case for Smiles, it has people pledging for every assist that I have this season, and then all of those, all of those donations will go to Evan Fest and Case for Smiles at the end of the season. Now, before we get into the on-court stuff, can you tell us a little bit about those two charities and your involvement with them? Yeah, so um, Evan Fest uh, started in 2006 um, in the memory of Evan Brady, uh, who was one of my brother's good friends. He was uh, a family friend of ours. All of us uh, knew him pretty well, and Evan was the type of person that could walk into a room and capture an audience and make everyone feel incredible. Um, so through Evan Fest, we've kept his legacy alive and it's 100% volunteer work. Um, so I think that just speaks for who Evan was and people are still, now it's 10 years later, um, it's 100% volunteer still. So everyone's doing it just to honor the legacy that he left. Um, and through Evan Fest and the Brady family, I also got involved with Case for Smiles, which is in memory of Ryan Kerr. Um, and most recently, I've actually began to work with them um, and their campaign is to sew pillowcases for children in uh, hospitals. And they also work with uh, families with PTSD just to help them get through tough times. So when trying to figure out uh, how to honor these people, um, Evan taught me that actions speak a lot louder than words. I could sit here and I could try to explain how amazing he was. And I'm sure people feel the same way about Ryan Kerr. And there's just no string of words that you can put together. So I figured that I would use basketball, a sport I love, to help uh, organizations that I loved, and that's how the idea came about. And Megan's going to have a, a year-long fundraiser with a little unique way of raising money. Could you tell everyone about how you're doing that? Yeah, so um, I figured Assisting Others was an appropriate name because it's for every assist I have, and these two organizations, through what they do, um, Evan Fest raises money for children with life-threatening illnesses, and Case for Smiles helps all those children in the hospital. So. They're assisting others in uh, memory of these two, so I figured that if I'm going to name it assisting others and it's going to be pledged for every assist that I have, that it all works out. So um, it's just getting people involved, and I think that when doing this, I could never do it by myself. I could have 100 assists, and if no one's pledging, then it doesn't work. So it's just bringing people together and <clears throat> excuse me, um, bringing people together and realizing the greater meaning of giving back. As a four-year captain and senior point guard and last year you had 184 assists which was only one off from the Drexel record for a single season. Um, what is assisting meant to you on the court and, and how did you come up with that idea to, to do that per assist to donate to these causes? Uh, well I mean assisting people on the court it's just I think being a point guard your job is to get people involved so with getting people involved I mean I'm bound to have some assists and I'm a past first point guard so assists are going to come more regularly for me and um, so when I was thinking about doing it it was I knew I wanted to give back I knew I wanted this season to be all about giving back and making my last season really about that and just talking to family it was first it was points and then it was assist and points and I just figured to keep it uh, short and sweet and to the point and just for every assist just have pledges so I just think it captures everything that both organizations have to do they have to get other people involved to assist others. You can't do it by themselves. Um, so I think that these organizations are so large and have so many volunteers. And I think that that's pretty much what I'm doing on the court, trying to get my teammates involved off the court. It's what these organizations do, trying to get people involved. And I think that they just both uh, mesh well together. All right, let me give you a hypothetical here. Okay. <laughs> You're on a two on none fast break. There's nobody on your side of the court. Yeah. A, a layup is guaranteed. Are you going to be then passing that ball <laughs> off? Just to get that an extra six, or are you going to take the layup? Uh, no, um, I'm going to take the layup. If I do that, I think Denise Dillon will end this campaign as quick as it started. So, um, yeah, no, I'm definitely not going to be, I don't think it's going to change my mindset when I'm on the court. Um, I think that assists come when they come, and I'm not going to be like, oh, I have to pass it because I only have this amount of assists. Um, at the end of the day, I'm 
really just looking to get as many wins for the Dragons as possible. So however that's going to come, it'll come. And they, they have come during your tenure in, in bunches. I know you were fifth in the nation last year in assist to turnover ratio. What makes you a point guard that can sort of steady the ship so well and take care of the basketball and then get so many assists? Yeah, um, I think it's just keeping it simple. A point guard's job is to protect the ball and then get the ball where it needs to go. And without my teammates, I wouldn't have assists, so I have to give them credit where credit's due. Um, they make shots, and when I pass them the ball, it works out well. So. Have you talked to them at all about this campaign? Like, look, if I, if I find you open for a shot, you better knock it down. <laughs> it is funny. Um, some of them have said, like, oh, every time I, like, miss a shot that I should have made, I'll be like, oh, darn. But it's not about that. It's just about I don't want anyone to be thinking about it when the 40 minutes are going on. But I think that it's great um, that I have teammates who are involved and are supporting me through this. Now, a little bit about the season. You guys open up against Penn State on November 11th at the DAC at 7 o'clock. What are your expectations? I know it's a big one. You guys were picked third in the CAA. You're trying to get back and win the conference, get into the postseason again. What, what have you guys been working on this summer? And what are your sort of expectations entering your senior year? Yeah, I think it's just uh, summer. You're just working on things that you need improvement on through the season. So you look at your stats and if you didn't shoot well in twos or you didn't shoot well in threes. And I think that everyone on this team really um, responds well to individual roles. And I think that this team, um, everyone's looking to move the ball and the extra pass isn't the question. It's going to be passed. And so I'm excited for the offensive end with this team because plays will be run and sets will be executed. Um, and just with the season coming up, I think starting with a big opponent like Penn State, it sets the tone for the season. Um, they're going to come in. They're a big time school. And I think that it's a good challenge. We're challenging ourselves early and then it's, it, we'll, we'll see where we are and then we'll see where we need improvement and we'll see where to go from there. Sounds good, but we're really, really excited to see you guys take the you. floor again. You're a very exciting team to watch. If someone watching this wants to donate, can you tell them where to go online to find that? Yes, um, there's a website called Pledge It, um, and then my campaign is called Assisting Others. So you just go to pledgeit.org and then type in Assisting Others in the search bar, and then you can just donate um, there. You can either make a pledge for the season or you can make a one-time donation. And just to make it easier, we're gonna put Put that website right here, right now, um, <laughs> across the bottom, point okay. to it. Um, well, I want to thank Megan Creighton for being the yeah. first guest. We're going to do a couple of these Dragon Spotlights throughout the women's basketball season. There's a couple other great stories. I know your okay. team is so involved off the court. Both players and managers have some great stories. And this is an amazing charity endeavor you're getting yourself into. So hopefully you can break the assist record that I believe thank as you. your friend Holly Marshawn said a couple yes. of years ago. Yep. Are you, do you want to send a message to her that you're coming for her record? <laughs> no. Uh, and uh, we'll see you again on Dragon Spotlight. Donate. <laughs>